told you at the top of the newscast about this morning's collapse of a bridge in Pittsburgh. It's been reported that 10 people have non-life-threatening injuries as there was traffic on that bridge when it fell into the creek below. Our former Eyewitness News anchor reporter Amanda Mueller is now the public information officer for the Pittsburgh Police Department and she joins us now live from Pittsburgh. Amanda, it's so great to see you. I'm glad you're okay. And first up, is there any change in the injuries of the 10 people with those non-life-threatening injuries? Uh, as of right now, everybody's been treated non-life-threatening injuries. Um, it's it's quite a scene after what we've seen here. Uh, to be able to say that everyone's able to get away with non-life-threatening injuries is, is uh, quite a feat. Um, and somewhat of a miracle, I, I think a lot of people here will tell you. Oh, absolutely. And seeing the pictures where there's actually traffic on that bridge when it fell, it's just amazing that no one was not seriously hurt or even killed. Do we know why it collapsed? So as of right now, that investigation is still underway. Um, I'm sure you can understand these things take a long time to basically go through um, inspections prior to that. So they don't really have a reason. They're certainly starting to look into that this evening. Uh, our first priority is to make sure everyone is out and uh, safe and treated. That's something that we will be looking into in the next couple of days and hopefully we'll have some answers there for you. Un understandable for sure. Now, how heavily traveled was this bridge? Have you driven over it yourself? So this is actually a road that leads out of a very popular park here. So it's a popular commute for a lot of people. Um, I'm sure you saw there was actually a Port Authority bus that was on that bridge right. at the time. Uh, and that, that is something that a lot of people are seeing in pictures this morning. Very lucky that we didn't have more traffic on the bridge. It was also somewhat early in the morning. Um, but it is a bridge that's familiar to a lot of people here. A lot of community members have been out here. Um, and a lot of people use this bridge on a daily basis. Yeah. Well, you know, I know the Pennsylvania Department of Transportation lists the bridge itself in poor condition. Uh, it sounds like almost even a decade ago that it was listed in poor condition. But were there warning signs that it was at the point of failure? Uh, as of right now, they're still looking into all of that. That's actually not something that our department can answer. We're right. certainly working with our state and federal authorities to figure that out. Um, just not something that I would have an answer to right now uh, sure. just for the Department of Public Safety. Yeah, and I don't know if you can answer this either, but do you know when the last inspection would have happened on the structure? Yes, last inspection was in September of 2021. And I, I, I assume it passed because there was traffic allowed on it. Yes, there are still people on it, uh, but as of right now, it's all the details that I really have. Uh, that, again, like I said, that's that's kind of out of my department sure, there, yes. so it's something that we'll certainly be looking into. But so what happens now? Obviously, it's closed off, you know, no traffic on it. Will it be rebuilt, and, and how long might all this take? So right now, we're basically in the phase of figuring out, you know, how to keep everyone safe moving through the weekend. Um, it's a very big structural collapse. Like I said, I don't know if, if pictures really kind of can tell the story. Um, it's, it's kind of tough to explain, but our priority right now is to make sure everyone, pedestrians, vehicles, the people hiking, there are a lot of hiking trails behind me here, um, heavily traveled hiking trails. So we're just trying to make sure everyone's safe through the weekend. Sure. And that's their biggest priority right now. We're kind of moving forward in baby steps now that the initial phases, the rescue operations, all of that are wrapping up this evening. Makes sense. You know, you know, I know I believe that President Biden said that there are more bridges in Pittsburgh than any other city. Are there other bridges that could be at the risk of failure there? That's not something we're really looking at right now. Um, it's not something that, that's really come up. Again, we're, we're really focusing on that initial part of the investigation to make sure what's going on with this bridge here. Um, I think when people think about Pittsburgh, they're thinking of those big bridges over the rivers. This bridge was actually going over a park, so there's a lot of trails and stuff underneath of it. It's not one of those big, iconic bridges that a lot of people think of when they visit Pittsburgh. So. Gotcha. Okay. Well, Amanda, thanks for all the information you gave us, and I'm certainly glad you're okay. Glad that uh, there were no, it wasn't worse than it was. But of course, now there's so much ahead of us with an investigation and uh, fixing the problem. Um, we appreciate you taking the time, and it's great to see you. Yeah. Thank, Thank you, Tri-State. Thanks. Amanda Mueller with the Pittsburgh Police Department.